Hey everyone, my name is Steven. I'm Charlie. I'm Lena. I'm Ryan. And I'm Josh. And our project is building a real-time leaderboard with Amazon Web Services. Okay, so this is the introduction to AWS. So just a little bit of background information, Amazon Web Services is a secure cloud service platform. It offers compute power, database storage, content delivery, and other functionalities. AWS uses managed databases like MySQL to store information. It also runs web and applications in cloud servers rather than physical ones. Also, cloud computing allows to store files in a cloud to be accessible anywhere. So in our project, we built a scalable real-time leaderboard for a multiplayer game with AWS Aurora and Elastic Cache, which are both very commonly used in game applications. So why are cloud computing and leaderboard important? Cloud computing implementation is efficient, flexible, and strategic. And throughout our project, we found that we were able to deliver supreme performances and fast responses. Also, our application in the cloud allows data to be protected and can prevent data loss. Lastly, we were able to use Amazon Elastic Cache in our application to undergo extreme patterns while maintaining a database for less common patterns. And this is just an example of cloud computing, the use of hardware and software to deliver a service over a network. It allows users to access files and use applications for any device that can access the internet. So some of these examples that we probably all use is Dropbox and Gmail. So now with the technical discussion of our project, uh, these were some of the lists of technologies that we used. More predominantly, we used Amazon Cloud9 as a IDE to run our code. Uh, Cognito, AWS Lambda, and APA Gateway. Although we did use all the other ones, those were the most commonalities that we had. So the two most important were Amazon Aurora and Elasticash. Amazon Aurora is basically a relational, a fast relational database that is serverless. And more importantly, it has a MySQL compatibility that's efficient when accessing data API over HTTP, uh, which is basically the web. And we used Elasticash for uh, memory data storage. Uh, it improves the performance of web apps by retrieving information from the in-memory caches rather than disk-based uh, databases. So it's faster to access data and the data transfer rates are faster. So for example, if you had a disk database, when the disk space is not full, it's faster. However, as you start filling the disk space, uh, retrieval starts to get a little bit more slower. And we used the Elasticash with the Redis engine, which is basically a design that was implemented into Elasticash that modifies data all the time to be read from the main memory computer. And more importantly, it also supports abstract data types. So with the Aurora and Elasticash, they essentially work together in many ways. We use them to receive top tier speed of an in-memory cache. And then we use the flexibility of Aurora uh, within our relational databases where it is stored. Um, with Elasticache, since it is reading from in-memory cache, we have high volume, low latency, so we can receive leaderboards as quick as any millisecond, uh, regardless of the game. And Aurora servers, since they're serverless, they will store all the data and provide redundancy within them. Um, so just a little bit more about the Redis engine. It supports fast response time, as I said before, compared to the disk-based database that would require more time and a lower response time. And the Redis was configured to be accessible with our Cloud9 IDE, which is Amazon AWS's um, IDE that we use. Three more technologies we used were the Lambda, Cognito, and API Gateway. Lambda is an event-driven serverless computing platform provided by Amazon. Um, it's a computing service that runs code in response to events and automatically manages the computing resources required by that code. Cognito is the API Amazon uses to basically create accounts and usernames to allow users to register and um, authenticate their accounts. Lastly, Amazon API Gateway is the way that Amazon allows the users to access the Lambda function. So how do all these pieces work together? Together, they use endpoints, um, which is one end of a communication point where an API interacts with another system. The first endpoint, registration, interacts with Amazon Incognito. 
after the creation of an account, the second endpoint is the use of the client to receive an ID. So introducing score now. The user will use the add user score endpoint to introduce a score for the user. This is run, uh, this is uh, Amazon Aurora is used in this case to help store the data. User will then use the fetch user score endpoint to retrieve the top scores for a specific user. And lastly, the fetch top scores endpoint will retrieve the global top scores. This uh, last endpoint uses ElastiCache with the Redis engine. So examples of the topic in the real world. Some similar examples. In the past, uh, offline leaderboards have been used in games such as Pac-Man, Galaga, and other arcade games. The problem with uh, these types of leaderboards is they're not connected with each other and they're local to a single machine. Um, another example of leaderboards uh, online, uh, such as the Call of Duty World War II multiplayer weekly leaderboard, um, these newer games refresh them infrequently, uh, sometimes as often as daily or as little as weekly. And uh, this could be improved by making them real time. So moving on to recommendations for companies who are considering implementing uh, the AWS leaderboards. Um, so two of the formats of leaderboards that were previously popular were offline leaderboards and daily leaderboards. Um, the, the drawback of these include um, for offline leaderboards, um, players cannot compare their scores to players on other systems um, and high scores may be reset during maintenance. Um, for the slowly refreshing or daily leaderboards, um, off or online matchmaking will suffer from the inaccurate scores um, and player performance may suffer from the, the poor matchmaking. Okay, so why would you implement a AWS leaderboard? Um, the AWS leaderboards allow individuals to compare themselves to their peers in real time. Um, and they also increase player participation and encourage competition among players. Okay, um, more reasons that you should implement a uh, AWS leaderboard include, they boost application performance and reduce costs. They help match players of a similar skill level in online multiplayer, um, which improves both skilled players, or skilled players uh, experience and non-skilled players experience. Um, and developers gain access to Amazon support chat and call center 24 seven. Here are our concluding remarks. So some of our takeaways are, um, we thought that Jan Michael Gotan made a good point of saying that using the right data storage for the right use cases and accounting for data access patterns can reap not only significant performance gains, but also provide a cost efficient solution. Performance reliability and flexibility are all key advantages of using Aurora and ElastiCache together. ElastiCache for Redis offers multiple benefits when compared to a traditional relational bid database in the case of building a real time leaderboard. Redis supports a data structure which works well with leaderboards. Redis also allows for high request rates that are appropriate for data which is not easily cached. Both Redis and Memcached engines from ElastiCache offer high performance with some millisecond response times and hundreds of thousands of operations per second. Uh, the Aurora storage is also reliable as it provides a six-way replication to keep your data safe and protect against data loss. It's also flexible as your cache can be designed for specific access patterns that require extreme performance, while your relational database can be used for more flexible access patterns. And this leaderboard system can be applied to more than just games, including any applications that require a ranking system. Stay safe and be well. Thank you for an amazing semester, Professor. <laughs>